good evening everyone it's a it's a it's a matter of honor for me to be selected as uh, one of the semi finalists for mozilla equal rating challenge uh, i am very proud to present uh, grammag solution for rural broadband grammag is uh, it's like gram in hindi means village and marg is road so in fact it is the road map to village connectivity or rural connectivity so this is the team the grammag team it is by it is led by professor abhay karandika who is a principal investigator of this project that's me and i have two my two of my teammates priya and tejashree who have joined me here for the occasion today okay what's the current scenario of unconnectivity in india and in the, uh, globally globally 4 billion people are not connected they are unconnected and in india it is the matter is much more grave with 800 million in 640000 villages that are unconnected in india and amongst the 640000 villages 50000 villages don't have even voice connectivity so it's the matter is very serious in india so what happens is that um it's a very it's it's uh, it's very urgent to connect rural india because rural india growth in rural india contributes to economic growth and then it also improves the standard of living by providing them quality of life through education health facilities and so on and so forth now given a scenario that there is a tv there is a tower the usually what happens is that the towers are located very far away from villages Uh, that is like uh, 16 to 20 miles away from the villages and there uh, there are these villages that need to be connected now what's the possible solution for it we say we have worked on and tv white space as a solution why tv white space because tv white space is the unutilized part of the spectrum in the tv band so if you look this is the indian context the the tv white space is in the 470 megahertz to 585 megahertz and the only terrestrial tv broadcaster in india is doordarshan and at a time what we have found in our studies that uh, TV, uh, that they u- utilize only 8 to 16 megahertz is utilized the rest of it is completely unutilized it's like it's it's not being used at a time so that is the space that we have used to provide rural to to provide rural connectivity now there are some challenges in connecting rural india there are four important challenges one of the first challenges is unavailability of fiber backhaul so what happens is that the fiber comes and terminates at a tower which is some miles away from the villages and the villages cannot be connected through and the fiber cannot be laid taken to all the villages because it ha- it is because of the very bad terrain in india it's hilly it's not possible so that's one of the major challenges the second challenge is a low average revenue per user now what is low average revenue per user it's like the mobile operators they have the towers in the villages but they don't serve the population in the village because they do not get back that revenue like customer acquisition takes a particular amount like 5000 rupees and they don't get it back so they are not interested to provide uh, connectivity to the villages the third thing is intermittent availability of electricity now 95% of villages in india are electrified but then the grid electricity is not provided to them like 8 to 10 8 to 12 hours of power outages are there in india so we need so the dependency becomes that any of the solutions needs to be dependent on uh, diesel generator sets and then the cost of the fuel increases now india 80% of india is hilly so the terrain is very difficult it's very difficult to lay optical fiber and reach to the villages so a possible solution the possible solution that we are working on and we have worked on as well is the is a tv white spaces connecting it through tv white space now what 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 are the needs of rural india now this is so it's so the need of rural india is a frugal 5g now it is 5g the 5g technology the fifth generation technology that is being uh, that is there it caters only to the urban areas for rural india the set of uh, uh, necessity or the requirements is completely different 
In rural India, internet solution needs to be low cost and affordable. It needs to be of catering to low mobility. Mobility is not a key driver in the rural areas, but we need high speed broadband connectivity in rural areas. And we also need an internet solution that is that can serve large coverage of population. So large number of villages can be served through a solution. That's what we say is a frugal 5G. So 5G more economized for the rural India. Now the, look at the same scenario. The, the tower that is there some miles away from the village and a set of villages that needs to be connected, we do it through harnessing TV white space in the middle mile. What does a middle mile network architecture look like? You would be interested to know. So we have a fiber point of presence and we have the tower that, that the, there's a tower which is, and through that we connect to the villages over there. And the last mile is through the Wi-Fi access points where the villagers use it through their computers, laptops, and mobile phones. Now, in some cases, what happens is that the tower is located at a location that is not very close to the village. So there we take, we take it, the backhaul is through the Wi-Fi point to point. And we do it through, a, we control the network through an SDN controller. Now, what are some of the benefits of TV white space or microwave link? Like, a possible solution is also microwave, but then the TV white space fares better. And then we see that the coverage, given the same amount, the same tower height, TV white space can cover longer distances than a microwave link tower. And non-line of sight connectivity is something that the TV white space, because of its wonderful propagation characteristics, can transfer over small hills and, uh, and through foliage, where, where which uh, the point-to-point -point microwave links need a strict line of sight for connectivity. We are, have developed this indigenous technology at IIT Bombay, wherein these are the two boards, and the, there's, a wireless <clears throat> there's a wireless embedded board and an RF con converter board. The RF converter board is a board that has been developed at IIT Bombay, and these two are put together in this, uh, in this box, a mechanical uh, equipment box, wherein it is now, we, we deploy it on sites. This is Grandmark's technology solution and its deployment on field, and these are the villagers using internet. So you can see them. Now, internet, providing internet connectivity to the villagers is not the end solution in itself. The sustainable model, it has to be a sustainable model. It should run sustainably. So the 3P model, that is a public-private partnership models, have not worked because of risks so solely managed by private sectors, funding gaps, and no alternate plans. So what we propose is a 4P model. We have brought in panchayat, that is a local self-government in the village, so that meets the regional needs of the people, and it also involves the people of the village for network management and support. So what we do, it, do is that we have these VLEs, village-level entrepreneurs, that set up the, that run the show in the village. There is first digital awareness that they bring about in the villages, then the e-governance services, the skill development, and, the, and lastly, the revenue generation. That's a sort of an incentive for the village-level entrepreneurs to work. So 80% of the revenue that is generated comes to the village-level entrepreneur, 10% goes to the public and the private. So whoever provides the bandwidth and whoever provides the infrastructure. These are village-level entrepreneurs at work. You can see there is a mobile van. Grandma's internet journey these are the important milestones that Grammag has achieved till date. In 2012, we began with a quantitative assessment of TV white space in India. In 2013, we began with a technology development of TV UHF band devices. And in 2014, its establishment of India's first TV white space in five villages. In 2015, we did the impact assessment study. And in 2016, we have scaled it up to 25 villages. It's a large-scale deployment at villages that have no connectivity at all, no 2G, no 3G coverage, tribal districts, and the commercialization of ongoing processes. So in summary, Grammag is like the TV, it harnesses the TV white space in the middle mile, and it uses the 4P model, that is a public-private panchayat partnership model, with a 
sustainable VLE business model, and we propose it for connecting 640,000 villages in India that are not connected. Thank you.